Imagine waking up to finding your business has just dropped off the map. You get no inquiries. Google Maps just doesn't show your business any longer. Well, in this video, we're going to dive straight into a scam that's really affecting businesses. Their rankings are disappearing overnight and there's something you need to do about it. So you won't want to miss any of this video today. So you know how it is, you've been running your business smoothly, you pop onto Google Business Profile, you update it with a post, make sure your hours are correct, you do everything that you normally would do with running a business online. But suddenly without knowing it, your Google Business PIN gets hijacked. And this is the most horrendous scam out there at the moment. And it's causing thousands of suspensions every day. So if you think your rankings are safe, you might just want to think again. Joy Hawkins put it perfectly. She said, this is nuts. I've seen this several times in the last few weeks. Darren Shaw from Whitespark says, many businesses have reported their locations being altered without their knowledge, resulting in immediate ranking drops or suspensions when corrections are attempted. So this is for real. So what exactly are scammers doing and what can you do to prevent them doing it to your business today? Well, first of all, you need to be aware that anyone can suggest certain changes to businesses. And one of the changes that Google's enabled people to do is to go in and to change the actual area where the pin is shown on the map. And unfortunately, Google tends to accept pretty much any edit that's put there within reason. And this is where there's actually two types of scams that can now take place with that type of knowledge. The first one's called cluster bombing and the second one's called location hijacking. So what's cluster bombings? Well, in effect, what happens is a person will look at all his competitors that are above him, and even though they've all got different addresses, he'll move all their pins into one area, into one, say, building, and say the top 19 above him are all then in this one building. What does Google do? Google says, well, you can't have all these, say, 19 plumbers in the same building, therefore, they must all be the same business. And suddenly, you've got all these businesses that are now considered inaccurate in Google's rankings. And so potentially Google can suspend those businesses because it thinks they're duplicates. Now, of course, if you're one of those genuine businesses that's been tampered with, you get suspended for no good reason. Google shouldn't allow that. But there's also another thing that Google's allowing, and that's location hijacking. And this is just about moving uh, businesses, their pins out of the area. Uh, so if they're local to you and they're competing with you locally, if you suddenly then take their pin and you stick them two, 300 miles away, they're no longer going to be competing against you if Google accepts that edit. And look how easy it is to do. Look, here I've just found Trump's golf club in Scotland, and in just a few clicks, I can suggest to Google that let's say it's in Iceland, shall we? Or somewhere like that. Now, of course, I'm not gonna do this. It's ridiculous to do this. Even Google probably won't accept such an extreme dramatic change. But if we're, say, 50 miles away, it probably would accept it. And if you're moving a pin from a populated area where lots of customers are looking for your services and you suddenly stick it in the countryside somewhere or in the middle of a lake, well, if Google accepts it, you've got real issues. And you think then, well, the simple answer is, is you notice it's happened, you go back and you put it back to where you should be. Well, no. And that's where the second or even the third issue now occurs. If you just go back in, and make an edit back to where you should have been, Google now says you're moving a lot of times and it then suddenly then sees that as suspicious and is then suspending businesses. So is there a solution? Yes, there is, but it does require some caution. I recommend a tool that monitors these changes, alerts you to these changes, so you're not losing rankings before you realize what's going on. And then it gives you a whole process to follow that you can manually put your pin back so that you don't get suspended. So if you want that tool, just drop in the comments below, Zanet, Z-A-N-E-T. And for all those that do that, I will then send you a link to that tool, and then you'll then be able to monitor those changes, along with lots of other changes that may occur as well. And that's the other thing is most people don't realize, but there are lots of other scammy changes that can be done to your profile without you knowing, not just these pin changes, but many others as well. In fact, there are seven that you need to know about. So if you want a bit more detail on this and find out what those seven are, then head over to this video next and I'll see you there.